You know, Earth's oceans are only 5% explored. On the other hand, outer space is supremely larger, and we haven't explored even a hundredth of a percent of it. Yet what we have already learned is mind-blowing. Looky here. Earth had a 5-foot-wide mini-moon in 2019. Our moon tugged it into the Earth's orbit, where it stayed for at least a year. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is a gargantuan storm that's been raging for at least 400 years now. Back when it was first found, it was three times the size of our whole planet. The farthest we can see into space today is 13.2 billion light years. It took the Hubble Space Telescope 10 years to make a single image that far. The universe is thought to be 13.7 billion years old, but it's constantly expanding. And now it's probably about 93 billion light years in diameter. But that's only what we can observe. Scientists believe there's trillions upon trillions of light years of space beyond the edge of the observable universe. Comets are thought to come to the solar system from the Oort cloud, a theoretical asteroid field that's about 2,000 times as far from us as the Sun. Black holes aren't completely black. They have a barely visible hue of their own. On Mars, thanks to the large amount of magnetic dust in the atmosphere, the sunsets are dusky blue. The largest asteroid in the solar system is called Vesta, and it's so big that it's sometimes even called a dwarf planet. A trip to the nearest star apart from the sun would take you 5 million years on a commercial airplane. That's what I call a long-haul flight. It would take you about 100,000 years to travel from one end of our Milky Way galaxy to the other at the speed of light. On a plane, that's just too many zeros to fit into a single screen. The Sun can fit about a million Earths inside it. But there's a star called Uy Scuti that's about 1,700 times larger than the Sun. Almost everything in space is connected with everything else by gravity. Star systems are part of galaxies, galaxies are part of clusters, and clusters are parts of superclusters. The largest known supercluster in the universe is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. That's a name. It's more than 10 billion light years wide. Mars has the largest natural formations in the solar system. The mountain three times taller than Everest, the canyon almost seven times longer than the Grand Canyon, and the crater that could fit half the Amazon River across it. Although the Big Bang Theory is the most viable one, researchers still find evidence against it. For example, one theory suggests there's an axis around which the whole universe rotates. It's aptly named the Axis of Evil. There's a supermassive black hole at the center of almost every major galaxy, including ours. Black holes can attract not only stars and planets, but also other black holes, eventually merging and becoming one with a much greater mass. The spinning movement and enormous gravity of black holes sometimes makes it throw jets of matter into space, traveling at almost the speed of light. There's a thing called the Great Attractor. It's a gravitational anomaly outside our galaxy that can't be seen but is known to attract the Milky Way and lots of other galaxies toward itself. The winds on Neptune reach the speeds of 1,600 miles per hour. That's three times faster than a commercial airplane. Temperatures at the Moon's south pole reach minus 397 degrees Fahrenheit, which just might be the coldest in the entire solar system. Saturn is less dense than water, so if it were thrown into a giant pool, it would float. Jupiter's moon Europa is covered in a thick layer of ice, but underneath it is a vast ocean of water, measuring up to 100 miles deep. Water ice was previously thought to be rare and only common for Earth, but it can, in fact, be found all over the solar system, even on Mercury and the moon. Saturn's magnificent rings are a belt of space debris that formed after one of its moons fell apart. 
Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus also have rings, although not as splendidly as Saturn's. And even some asteroids have them too. There are eight confirmed planets in the solar system, but evidence shows there can be a ninth. We just haven't discovered it yet. Organic matter could have been brought to Earth by comets, since it has been found on several of them. Saturn also has a never-ending storm, just like Jupiter, but it's also peculiar for its shape. It has six distinct sides. Mercury and Venus are the only planets in the solar system that have no known moons. Jupiter has 79 known moons orbiting it, the largest of which is Ganymede, and it's bigger than Mercury. It was thought that the Milky Way is a belt before, but now we know it's a spiral galaxy. Footprints on the moon can't disappear, because there's no wind to blow them off the surface. There's a theoretical possibility of a white hole, the reverse of a black hole. Nothing can enter it from outside, but light and matter can escape from within it. Triton, a Neptune's moon, orbits the planet in a backwards motion. It's the only moon that does so, and nobody knows why. Although there are trillions of stars in space, we can only see a tiny fraction of them in the sky. Charon, Pluto's moon, is half the size of its planet, which is why Pluto orbits a bit around a spot outside its own axis. All the objects in space, including planets, interstellar dust, and whole galaxies, comprise just about 4% of the universe. The rest is dark matter and dark energy that can't be seen and isn't fully understood. Dark flow is a hypothetical movement of galaxies and clusters that's not random. This is another mystery that makes scientists doubt the Big Bang Theory. The closest galaxy to us is Andromeda, and it's over 2.5 million light-years away. Because there's no air in space, sound can't travel through it, so it's completely silent. So all those explosions and rocket noise you hear in sci-fi movies? Mm -mm, not real. We can still hear space, though, transforming its magnetic and plasma waves into sound. The center of our Milky Way galaxy tastes like raspberries, so we're told. Mercury is still shrinking, which means it hasn't completely formed yet. In 2004, a planet was discovered that's 30% diamond. The Sun is so huge that it makes up for about 99% of the solar system's mass. There are planets where it rains glass, acid, molten iron, and diamonds. You're gonna need a tougher umbrella there. A day on Venus is longer than a year. It takes the planet 243 Earth days to rotate around itself, and only 225 days to make a full circle around the Sun. Space isn't entirely cold. It can get scorching hot when in direct starlight. The movement of galaxies and clusters billions of light years away from us suggests there's some enormously massive body outside the visible universe. After billions of years, the expansion of the universe will make the space so sparse that we won't be able to see the stars in the sky at all. Astronomers can predict asteroids going towards the Earth, but only to a degree, and only when they're close enough. In about 4 billion years' time, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide, but we'll probably not even notice it. About 5 million years ago, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy launched a star from itself, and it's now traveling through the Milky Way 10 times faster than any other star out there. There are planets that aren't bound to any star orbit and aimlessly wander through outer space. Some stars out there take the energy of other stars to burn for longer. Neutron stars are some of the smallest, yet the most massive objects in space. They're usually about 12 miles in diameter, but are several times heavier than the Sun. Oh, and they also spin about 600 times per second. Cold welding is a phenomenon in space, when two pieces of the same metal join together without any trouble and heat. 
Because Uranus is tilted on its side, it's got over 40 years of summer, followed by the same period of winter. In our galaxy alone, there are about 500 million stars capable of supporting life. Some scientists believe in the multiverse, that is, that there are many possible variations of the universe outside our own. The universe is not only expanding, but is doing so at an ever-increasing rate. Dark energy is thought to be the culprit behind it. We know, or at least guess, about the existence of the Big Bang, because the microwaves in space are made up of distant echoes of that grand event. At a distance of about 10 billion light-years from Earth, there's a floating cloud of water in space. Its volume is 140 trillion times more than that of Earth's oceans. One theory suggests that the Moon had once been part of the Earth, but broke away because of an impact from outer space. Finally, if you find two golf balls on the Moon, they belong to Alan Shepard. He'd like them back. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!